y'all can work at McDonald's and Walmart, whatever grocery store, do food deliveries or whatever, whatever weird hustle that you you got going on. You're probably wondering, well, then how how do you live? How do you do all this stuff? It's not really retirement. It's just that I just can't find employment. You want to acquire an asset that all you have to do is just acquire it, accumulate it, save it, or whatever, and let other people do all the work in inflating the value. People don't get rich because they work harder or they work smarter. You get a lot of tax-free money, money that you don't have to pay taxes on. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, consider joining membership, leave a comment. What's up guys? Welcome back to my little pit stop. Man, I gotta I gotta relax and en enjoy my rides more and smell the roses, so to speak. I will. I just got a lot of things to do. You know, when you're oh like I said, when uh, you're a homeowner, you're a parent. There's a lot of things you gotta do. Make sure everything goes smooth, there's no trouble, there's no family problems, there's no house problems. A lot of stuff you do that nobody notices. You know, nobody notices. Nobody notices. And the only time you do notice anything is when something goes wrong and that's when you know it's not good. See, it's almost, uh, almost time for high school to go to get out. So I gotta head back, head back home. Gotta replace the exhaust on my power washer. Man, and I'd like to talk a little bit about retirement. You know, I guess uh, if, you, if you've been watching my channel, if you're new to the channel, if you don't know this, I haven't worked, I think for 10 years now. Has it been 10 years? I don't think it's been 10 years. It can't be 10 years. Maybe, well, I keep saying 10 years, but it feels like 10 years because I just haven't worked in a long time. Oh my goodness. Not, not because I'm wealthy or incredibly rich or I'm a billionaire. And I just can't find a job. Let me uh, rephrase that. I can't find a job that pays me what I think that would make me happy. How about that? Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I can work at McDonald's just like anybody else can. You all can work at McDonald's and Walmart, whatever grocery store, do food deliveries or whatever, whatever weird hustle that you're, you got going on. Affiliate links, YouTube, whatever, nine to five. But I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for that. I'm not trying anyway. So you're probably wondering, well, then how, how do you live? How do you do all this stuff? Well, my, my wife. <laughs> I worked. I made all the money at the first half of our relationship together. Now it's her turn. She didn't like that idea. She thought she was going to get a free ride. I was going to work until I die. Well, that didn't work out. Not because she didn't want it to, because I don't want to work until I die. So, but I, I do have, I do have a plan. I do have a plan. So I'll talk a little bit about I guess retirement. It's not really retirement. It's just that I just can't find employment that pays me what I think I should be paid or allows me to be comfortable, you know? They're, they always want to undercut, which is fine. That's economics. That's the market. But at the same time, I don't have to work. 
I think you're seeing a whole movement of people who just, you know, don't want to work. Don't want to work. I think a lot of it is because they got all that stimulus money. But, uh, stimulus money. Uh, well, okay, first of all, a lot of people got, like, stimulus money. All right? And if you're a family, you got some money for your kids. You got extra money for your kids. And then if you're renting, you didn't pay your rent. All right, there was an eviction moratorium for almost a year and a half. So not only were you not paying your rent, and you're also getting, you know, unemployment benefits probably, and the stimulus money. <laughs> I, think, I think a household, a family of, let's say, four, husband, wife, two children, probably received, if, let's say they, they were both working, then they became unemployed. And they were renting, renting a house. Let's just say they were renting a house, okay? So they were getting stimulus money. So they probably almost damn near $8,000 to $10,000 from all the stimulus money. Unemployment benefits. So they're, they probably received another, uh, since there's two of them, probably another ten to twelve ten to twelve thousand so they've got twenty thousand dollars right and on top of that they didn't pay their rent they didn't pay any rent think about that there was a eviction moratorium so these people basically earned twenty to thirty thousand dollars for doing nothing just being unemployed unemployed and a deadbeat didn't want to pay the rent. I, I probably would have done the same. I mean, take advantage of the uh, system. So why would you want to go back to work now? You probably got to, by now, they probably got evicted. The unemployment benefits are over. They're just trying to milk whatever tax return from the uh, child tax credit now. And they're probably hoping for another stimulus, right? another stimulus package to come through. Anyways, they probably moved back with their parents or, or something. And they got an extra 20000 to $30,000. What's the rush in going back to work? Anyway, that's my little rant on that. But as far as building wealth, uh, I'm not a billionaire by any means, but I do have one secret. And I'm going to keep it a secret, but... I tell you, the principles of, of the secret is uh, obviously it's investing or asset buying, and uh, it's it's not gambling. It's not some multi-level marketing. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It's real. I, I guess you call it investing, but really, what you want to do is you want to find an asset, gold, stocks, real estate, whatever it is. Just make sure it's not a Ponzi scheme or a multi-level marketing or a pyramid scheme. Okay, avoid those at all costs. Those are the worst. They produce nothing. They generate nothing for you and you have to do a lot of work. You wanna do the opposite of that. You want to acquire an asset that all you have to do is just acquire it, accumulate it, save it or whatever and let other people do all the work in inflating the value. Real estate, gold, stocks, uh, cryptocurrency, whatever it may be, that's what you wanna do. And don't be a fool like all the other fools out there and think you could uh, outperform the market, whether it be stocks, real estate, cryptocurrency, a business, whatever it is. Don't be a fool. Think 10 year horizon. Oh, shit. Think 10 year horizon. And uh, think long term. Don't think short term. So, so if you're gonna do this, think long term. Don't think short term. And remember, you're supposed to just accumulate, all right? Just accumulate or save. Let everybody else do all the work. All right, people don't...
people don't get rich because they work harder or they work smarter. People get rich because they're leveraging. You're leveraging your time or other people's time. So you're leveraging time and you're leveraging money or labor or, or work. So basically time and money are the two basic, basic things you're leveraging. And that's how you really get rich. That's how you inflate real estate. That's how you inflate stocks. That's how you inflate precious metals, gold, silver, or whatever. That's how you inflate cryptocurrencies. You're leveraging off of the many and the few are reaping the benefits. It sounds, it sounds similar to like maybe a Ponzi or a pyramid scheme, but it's, it's not. You're just, you're leveraging. I'm gonna do the jump. Jump. All right, Woo. I like that jump. So you're just leveraging, you're, you're leveraging off of the asset. Now, you have to understand how that works. You understand how money is created. You have, you have to understand how money works. Because without it, you can't understand the principle. So, you, you get an asset, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, okay? I, I, I have an asset and I'm happy with the asset that, I, that I'm working with. But whatever asset that you have, or assets, Again, real estate, like some examples, real estate, stocks, bonds, uh, precious metals, probably even cryptocurrencies. Uh, you have to understand that it's, these assets are being inflated at that time, of whatever value it is. If I own all the gold in the world and the gold is worth a billion dollars, if I sold it, if I sold my gold, guess what the guess what the value of that gold is after I sell it? Zero, right? So, you know, everything is leveraged. Everything is leveraged. All right. Whatever the value of your house or stock or whatever asset you, you think it's worth, that's what it's worth at that time before you sell it. After you sell it, it could be worth less. Anyways, my point is, find something that can inflate in price. So forget the electric bike, forget the electric bike. All right, this is, this is for recreation, this is for fun. E-bikes are for fun. I wouldn't invest into an e-bike, right? put it that way. Um, vehicles, cars, they don't appreciate value, all right? Electric bikes, don't waste your time. This is just for fun. That's my point. Some things are fun. They, they bring some other benefits, physical health, joy. But as far as retirement goes, I mean, those things are important. But you need to understand how to accumulate wealth without putting any work into it. That's the key. That's the secret. How you do it? Well, that's my secret. Anyways, again, you, you want everybody else to inflate the price and you just reap the benefits. If you can find an asset that you can use, and again, uh, a house, real estate, you, you can use the house, you can live in the house, right? Just sit on, just live in there. Just live in the house. Use the house. Let everybody else, let all the flippers go in and out. And all the people who move around, let them inflate the price. Let those people inflate the price with their their money or their liability on, on borrowing money. Let them inflate the price. And then when you're ready, then you can just sell. And there's a lot of benefits of 
you being the uh, primary owner of that house, there's a lot of benefits, a lot of benefits. You get a lot of tax-free money, money that you don't have to pay taxes on. Being a, a house flipper or investor on real estate is, is, uh, is not, I wouldn't say stupid, but compared to being an owner you're, as your primary residence, man, you can't beat the benefits. Anyways, I think I said too much. Let's just enjoy the ride. Uh, another thing I like to talk about is, uh, you know, what is life like? At least for me, not working. How about that? I don't work. I don't know if I'm retired, but uh, I don't work. Well, my... My daily routine is riding a bike. I try to ride a bike. Making a, a video. Uh, I get to sleep in and have a good night's rest, even though I'll maybe stay up, sometimes stay up until three or 12, or maybe I'll go to bed at nine. Got a lot of things to think about, contemplate. I get to work on things that I wanna do not necessarily financially related, like it doesn't make money for me, but it's just something I've always had an interest to do, but because, you know, it doesn't make money, you, you, don't, do the, you don't do those things, right? But they bring fulfillment, purpose into your life. I get to do a lot of that. Uh, I get to raise children sometimes, which is a pain, but I get to raise my children. I get to be there for my children. I get to be there for my family, sometimes my wife, although I think she's got a lot to learn. But uh, she's the one still working. She had her turn to do whatever she wanted. Now it's my turn. That's the thing about being in a marriage, right? We share the wealth and we share the burden. out for traffic yeah, and, and there's dust from the trucks I gotta blink my eyes anyway so now I just focus on raising my children trying to set them up or guide them you know you can't really tell your children what to do because they think you're being over possessive so I have to guide them in a way that they think it's I'm not you know directing them I'm not telling them what to do, but I'm trying to guide them in a way that I think will be greatly beneficial for their future lives. And uh, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, and it gives me purpose, and it's, it's fun. It's kind of fun to do that. You know, I'm doing a lot of things in the background, and it's, it's, it's like, like I said before, it's like, Nobody complains when things are going great, right? Nobody complains. But when things are going bad, that's when everybody starts complaining and they're unhappy and all that. So my ch the challenge for me is to make everything go smooth. There'll be some, you know, bumps in the road. But my challenge is to do a lot of the stuff in the background so they don't realize I'm doing a lot of the work. But at the same time, I don't want to be over possessive. So they start, you know, resisting what, I, what I'm trying to do. Just because, you know, people can be that way, including my wife. And, uh, but I'm trying to, you know, have everything go smooth. Smooth and easy. Oh, I'm going to take the shortcut. No, I'm not, actually. I'm not, I changed my mind. I forgot about the tall grass, the seeds in the grass. So, yeah. So that's the fun and challenge for me now. As far as wealth building, you know, if you didn't, you have to set yourself up 
in a position 10 years in advance, at least 10 years. So whatever you're doing now, you have to think 10 years into the future. And uh, so if you're young or old, I would say get pre prepared to to getting prepared and then once you are prepared think 10 years out into the future and then after you reach that milestone of 10 years you should be in a comfortable place to retire a lot of a lot of a lot of what I do is actually cost reduction and preservation so if you can preserve a lot of what you have and do a lot of cost reduction, uh, that's even better. That's even better because no matter what, you will be expending, you know, your money, <laughs> no matter what. Taxes, utilities, no matter what, food. But if you can reduce everything else where it becomes manageable, where the cost and expenditures become manageable, and you'll be sitting good. Do that for 10 years, it'll pay for itself the rest of, for the rest of your life. Anyways, I'm gonna conclude this episode. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, consider joining membership, leave a comment. Are you retired? Are you planning on retiring? Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.